Facts First presents He thought he brought home a puppy, but later realized it was something else. Help us spread the word about Facts First by clicking that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. An 18-year-old college student from Tucson, Arizona named George was walking down the street one day and he saw an abandoned puppy in a shopping cart. Well, the puppy was adorable and he wanted to keep him. The only problem was, well, George lived with his parents. So before he could get his heart set on keeping a puppy, he had to ask them first. Fortunately, his parents thought it would be nice to have a dog around and they were willing to take on the responsibility along with their son George. So he brought home a puppy. But then he later realized, maybe that's not a puppy after all. He named the dog Neo. And from the moment that Neo moved in with the family, he was a bit of a terror. He would often pee in George's car. He also wouldn't allow anybody but George to pay attention to him. And this was surprising because when George was home, all Neo did was beg for attention. When George went off to school or to work, though, Neo was a mess. His parents tried to bond with Neo and give Neo the attention he craved from his owner George, but he would have nothing to do with it. He only wanted George. George's parents figured out Neo would enjoy himself better in the backyard than in the house. It would give him a chance to run and play the way other dogs do. George and his family realized early on, though, that Neo was not a typical puppy. He didn't want to play ball. He didn't want to play fetch. He certainly didn't want to just lounge around. Neo was athletic, smart, and sneaky. Every day, he dug his way under the fence to escape from the yard. If he couldn't get under the fence, he'd jump over it. Each time Neo escaped from the yard, he'd go down the street to a neighbor's house to visit his friends, the German Shepherds. Neo never wanted to hang out with humans. He only wanted to be around other dogs. When the neighbors found Neo in their yard, they would try to bring him back to his house, but that would often not work. Neo wanted to spend time alone in their neighbor's bathroom, where he would remain until George came home to collect him. He didn't even want the treats that the neighbors offered him. His trips to see the German Shepherds became a regular thing. George's parents thought that if they could strengthen the fence a bit, that maybe they could keep Neo in the yard. It was an expensive fence that they decided to install, very strong too, but not strong enough. He had incredibly strong jaws, Neo did, and he was able to bite his way through the fence. As soon as he found his escape point, he went right back to visiting those German Shepherds. When Neo kept showing up at the neighbor's house, they had run out of options, so they decided to call the local animal shelter. They figured they could bring Neo to the Humane Society of Southern Arizona and maybe they could help. They figured that he could stay there until George went to pick him up. When the CEO of the shelter, Maureen O'Neill, met Neo, she had news that shocked everybody. Turns out Neo wasn't even a dog. His beautiful markings, his body shape, his amber eyes, they were proof that Neo was a wolf, not a dog. Unfortunately, Neo being a wolf was going to cause some problems for George. According to Arizona state law, residents are not allowed to have a wolf as a pet unless they are of Native American descent or if they have a special permit. The shelter wasn't even allowed to keep Neo legally. If George didn't figure out something quickly, Neo would have to be put down. Maureen did some research and found some information on an organization in California called Wolf Connection. The organization has plenty of land, special facilities, and professionals who had experience with wolves and wolf hybrids. Going there would give Neo the best life possible. All that was left to do was wait for Neo to be accepted. While it broke George's heart to say goodbye to Neo, he knew that the wolf connection would be the best thing for him. He brought his friend there and said his goodbyes. And when a new wolf arrives at the facility, the staff will often keep them separate so that they can ease the animal into his new surroundings. But that didn't work for Neo. After a few hours, he had broken out of his pen and went to meet the alpha female, and it wasn't long before Neo felt right at home. Neo adjusted to his new home quickly, and he finally had the pack that he had always been craving. He tried to find that pack with those German Shepherds, but now he had the real thing. Being part of a pack is instinct for a wolf. When Neo finally had a family and enough room to run, he was incredibly happy. George was able to say goodbye, knowing that Neo is now better off at Wolf Connection 
and a whole lot happier than being cooped up at home. Subscribe for more.